Hello everybody, Aquir here, and welcome back to another episode of Terraria. So last episode, uh, we got a lot of stuff, made a lot of progress, but I said that we're going to wait until this episode to kind of look over the things that I got. So right now, let's actually take a look at everything. Let me just remove a couple of these things. We need room for statues, so we got, I think, another... Hornet statue, which we'll put on the end here. We got a shield statue. Uh, I think another duplicate. And I can't place it there because I don't have a hammer on me. Alright, I'll just place it over here. And I can't place it here. What? Okay. Two corruption statues from the same place, I think. My bad. I think I was pressing the wrong button. Yeah, I was pressing the wrong button. And then we have one more heart statue. So, can we place it on the end here? Ah, I don't think we can. <laughs> Too bad. Alright. I think I'll just place it over here on this side. I'll be able to move it later, but for now, that'll be its place. And now it's raining. Yippee. Um, I got two goodie bags. I have no idea where these came from. I think they might have been from um, mobs or something, but let's open them. Let's see what we get, but we'll do that in a second because my inventory is full. Uh, so we did get like four hearts, four life crystals, and we have so many already. We don't even need those, and again, for some reason, it's not letting me get in my house. Alright, let's get... Come on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It can't be lags. I mean, this game doesn't cause lag. It's not exactly in a, like a very huge game. Let's put some of our potions away. We, didn't, we did get a bunch of potions. See? So much inventory just cleared up. We got a piano. I want to put the piano down, but I'll, I'll do that in a little bit. Let's put the piano down here. We did get another... Suspicious eyes. So now we got four. So four times we'll be able to do that. Um, summon the eye of Cthulhu. Clippables. This will go there. The spear will go over here. So again, just organizing again. Um, you guys can look at the names in the chest if you want to see what's going on. Um, this boomerang should go here since it's technically a weapon. Um, let's put all our ores and stuff in here. And the rare items. Uh, the hearts... No, that's not. That's equipables. Rare items. I'm guessing the hearts should go here. It kind of makes sense. Back to the quips. This this has to go there. Pretty sure. Yeah. As you guys can see, I'm pretty organized in this game. I like to be organized. Because if you're not organized, it feels like everything's everywhere. And takes 20 minutes to find everything. Okay, so let's go to the plants. and Put the pumpkins down. Pumpkins go here. Uh, let's see. Blocks. I know a lot of the dirt and stuff could go over there. Go back to the plants because I have a couple mushrooms to put down. And then I I am gonna keep this magic mirror with me. That is something that stays with me. Um, let's see. Where's the consumables? There we go, right here. Uh, consumables. Open up, please. There we go. Bam. A lot of a lot of things just went right there. I'll keep the rope and torches with me. I guess I'll keep the stone, the magic mirror, and I'll put the gravitational potion away, and then we could open up those goodie bags. I don't know if it's like a thing for Halloween, because it is Halloween right now, but we will see. So what do we get? How do we open them? Right click to open. Okay, I'm right clicking. Hello? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. One second, let me kill that thing down there. I'm right clicking, and it's not doing anything, but... Okay, you, you shall die. <laughs> Alright, perfect. Oh, and there's a couple things in here that I forgot to tell you guys about. Okay. So, only only really thing interesting is this thing. Which, is, which that's... You know, I'm going to take that... You know what, let's just take all of it. Let's go place it in our chests right now. If we have less stuff hanging around down there, the better. So, let's just do that real, real quick. Plants. Uh, let's see. Quick stack. And then this thing is an equipable thing, so we'll put it down there. Okay, plans. Put that there. Consumables. Technically, I think one of the the glow sticks is, is a consumable. These are equips. And then the last two things will go in the miscellaneous category. Like a so. Alright, perfect. Now, let's try to get these goodie bags open. 
still trying to get these open. I don't know how. <laughs> Am I clicking the wrong button? Okay, I think they're in my hand, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay, I just right-click them. Oh, that's cool. We get, like, Halloween costumes. Oh, we got two of the same one. Uh, well, I mean, that's our... Let's put them on, actually. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, that's cool. I'm actually going to keep that on. That's that's pretty epic. Yeah, that is pretty epic. I actually... I'm going to go out and kill more things, because I want to get more of these little things. Because these suits are epic. I like these suits. For some reason, I can't open my door. It's annoying. Oh, this is awesome. I'm going to go start collecting these. I if I think they might be just like a Halloween special type thing, so I'm going to I'm going to play and go get them now. But anyway, let's put rare items. Let's put these two. I guess we just got an extra copy then. But guys, yeah. Um I was either planning to go like keep mining and keep doing things or go fight Skeletron, but I'm still not happy that I don't have enough enough platinum to go kill Skeletron, so guys, if you're bored of it, I'm sorry, but I'm going to keep mining because I want to get stronger, you know? So again, I'll get the exciting parts of camera like I always do. I mean, that kind of helps a little bit. I know you guys might be kind of bored of mining, but I do only show the parts where I find things. So hopefully you guys aren't too bored with it. And of course, I'm going to show all bosses and stuff. But anyway, guys, I'm going to keep looking for these goodie bags. I'm going to keep going, going to look for platinum because that's one thing that I really, really need at this moment. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, guys, there's a chest right here. So let's get it. Uh, bottles, not very... Um, extraordinary and freezing blowpipe. Uh, yeah, I, that, that's a horrible blowpipe. I'm just gonna say that's horrible. And by the way, guys, you might notice tin in my inventory. That's because I'm on a looting world. So, what ended up happening is I'm on my normal Aqua's adventure, and I'm thinking, uh, I've, I don't want to go through the exact same caves over and over and over again. So, what I decided to do is I'm on a looting world. That means it's just a world I come on. I don't build a base or anything. I literally just come on and loot the place. That's about it. If you guys have any like questions or anything, feel free to ask me in the comments. But yeah. And I'll see you guys with if anything exciting happens. Well, guys, there's a little... Um, I still don't know what to call these. I mean, like little cabins under the ground. So here's another one of these things. Let's check out what's in the chest. We also got a spear statue and a king statue, which is interesting. What's this one right here? Oh, it's gold. Okay. Guarding Hermes boots. These are actually really nice. What do I have? Oh, just Hermes boots. Okay. Yep. These are actually better, so I'm going to stick these on. That's actually very nice loot. Bombs, which I always love, so amazing. You know what? I'm going to say that that is an amazingly decent uh, little run right there. That That is good. I approve of that because just because of the Hermes boots. So let's collect this gold right here, and then I'll cut once again. So I think gold is like equal to platinum on different worlds and stuff, you know? Because I think... Like, there's, like, two types of world. One with, like, one's lead, one's tin, one gold's, one platinum. I'm not exactly sure, but I think that's how it goes or something like that. Anyway, guys, yep, I'll see you with something else. Well, guys, here's another chest, so let's quickly check it out. Potion, shuriken, rope, tin, and glow sticks. So that's actually all very, like, not rare, but very good stuff to use. So, yeah, I'm happy with that chest. And talking about chests, here's another one. <laughs> Practically the exact same things. I'll take it. That's that. That's amazing. Well, guys, not even like 10 seconds later, another chest. So let's check it out. A lot of glow sticks, which I love, and shine potions. That could really come in handy sometime. And something else. Wow, crazy. More stuff. Just give me it all. <laughs> Just give me it all. I'm not going to be surprised if we find another chest in the next, like... What, 30 seconds? No, uh, I'm not. Oh, and, and it's a heart crystal. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this looting world has some good loot in it. And another one. 
crazy. Okay, let's grab this one, and I'm just gonna keep talking for like another 30 seconds, because probably something else is going to pop up in front of me anyway, right? Though, I probably just jinxed it really bad. Yeah, if something doesn't pop up in the next like five seconds, I'm gonna cut once again. Alright, uh, yeah, guys. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys with, um, the next piece of loot or amazing thing. Whoa, guys. A meteor. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, we're gonna spend a little bit of time here, actually. I wanna collect some of this meteorite. Actually, all of this meteorite. This is all very, very useful. Okay, let's see, what can we have to protect ourselves with? Let me back up a little bit. Uh, I gotta put the healing potions on me for a little bit. Let me just try to get away from these little things. Let's go over here. Oh, this is epic. Okay, uh, Night Owl Potion. You know what? I'm gonna drink one of those real quick. Just because. Swiftness Potion. I'm gonna drink one of those. Alright, now let's try to actually collect some of this stuff. Alright, so let's let's try to hurry up and collect a lot of it. I I'm gonna I'm gonna kill a lot of these things all at once and then I'm gonna start collecting. I know this stuff if you touch it it burns you, so I don't wanna get too close to it. That's the only problem. Ouch, ouch, I'm getting burnt by it right now. And this thing the this kills you very quick too. So I gotta I gotta be very careful. Might as well collect stuff that's right there. Okay. I'm just gonna fly up real quick and kill a bunch of those that are coming this way. So all of you die, and then I'm gonna keep collecting. This is gonna be a tedious job. I mean, this is a lot of collecting, and it's a lot of being careful not to step on anything. Because if you step on it long enough, of course you'll die. See, like right there. If I stay on it by accident without me noticing I'm getting burnt, then I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm gonna have to walk all the way back. Of course, I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm going to have to wait until these come over here and die at the moment. But this is so much meteorite, it's crazy. This this oh, this has to be enough to get me at least a full set of armor. At least a full set of armor. If not, maybe like actually a couple sets of armor. I mean, this is a lot. I can't drink, I can't drink another? Alright. I just hate these little meteorite things that are right next to it. They're really annoying. Oh, oh well, that's fine. At least we found a meteorite. I mean, that's crazy just by itself. I think it's like it's pretty rare to have a world that already has a meteorite in it. I mean, I know meteorites fall quite often after you destroy, after you kill the destroyer. But um, yeah, let's go back down and keep collecting. We've got maybe one fourth of it collected already. So that's a good thing. We're doing it fairly quickly. No, it's still gonna take a little bit of time. Really, I just gotta stop maybe every 30 seconds to kill those things, and I'll be, and I'll be fine. Keep losing my cursor though. Ouch! See right there, that one little piece got me. I really gotta, I gotta be more careful. I mean, meteorite's really good, so it's well worth it. I keep thinking something's in the chat. Because, like, my recording device has, like, little blue corners at the end, so it shows, like, the margins of your recording. And I keep thinking it's, like, blue text saying that Cthulhu has awoken or something. It keeps scaring me. Okay, come on. Alright, I want to get this all on camera, though, because I want I want to show you guys me getting my first meteorite. I would cut right now if it wasn't, like, my first, but this is my first, so I'm going to show you guys getting my prize of my meteorite. Plus, this is a lot of meteor anyway. <laughs> I really want to show you guys how much this is. I mean, this is a large amount. I've seen meteorites before, and this is a pretty big meteorite. A lot of times, they're maybe like half as small as this. This is a huge one. But I, I honestly, though, whoever made, like, how you get meteorite, it kind of doesn't make sense to, like, really good ores come in maybe, like, pods of, like, ten. This comes in, like, a huge basket of like 100 meteorite ore at a time like I mean harder ore is supposed to be rare to find like if you find one meteorite you're practically set for life I mean personally I don't get that but I mean I'm happy I'm, I get a lot of good material from it so I'm, I'm not complaining or anything 
Okay, I'm just gonna shoot all these down for a second. Damn, get wrecked. Let's keep collecting. I mean, personally, I was gonna go on like Aqua's Adventure World, beat the Destroyer, and then get a meteor. But since I mean, there's since there's a meteor on this world, then I mean, I'm gonna help myself. Uh, I mean, I can't not. There's an entire meteor in front of me. I'm obviously gonna uh, take it. <laughs> but I still will try to beat the Destroyer and stuff on Aqua's Adventure. I mean, why do I keep calling Aqua's Adventure? Why don't I just call it Normal World? Or home world, base world, whatever. I wonder if lava charms work on this. Should have brought a lava charm or something so I could step on this. Though I think it would still burn me. Okay, I should drink another potion. There we go. I don't know how I'm gonna get the stuff above though. Maybe I can place like a piece of. There we go, just like that. I'm gonna have to destroy some of these. Come on, get wrecked. I don't need you running around doing shenanigans while I'm collecting my meteorite. Alright, let's collect this this last bit of it. Really, it's just this little part left. I might go ahead and take the underground stuff, like under the sand, but I'll do that by myself. Okay, let's see. Come on. Yeah, while I'm mine, I'm also going to destroy the meteorite heads if they're, like, very scarce. Which is a good thing. Oh, I should I should not stand on those. I, I could have almost just died right there if I stood on the meteorite long enough. Which wasn't very smart of me, but oh well. Let me place some like this. Perfect. I'll keep collecting. Oh, guys. I have had, this, is, this has been a long and fun day. If I haven't said it in my other videos yet that have came out, today is a Tuesday and uh, school was off. So I woke up at 7 in the morning, recorded an Aqua's Adventure, and then did a minigame Madness, recorded a Hearthstone vid, recorded another Terraria vid, and then this is my second Terraria vid. So I've recorded like 4 or 5 videos just today, and I started at 7 in the morning, and now it's, I think, 8 or 9 at night, so... I've been recording for an actually good three, like, 11 hours, actually. I can honestly say I've never recorded this long in my life. Today was, like, the record for me. Almost 11 hours of straight recording. No, I mean, it's not straight recording because rendering and editing does take maybe an hour apiece for each video. Um, so... Of course, I did have at least four to five hours in between because of the video rendering but other than video rendering and I, I advertised for like half an hour other than that it was just pure recording and editing which was which is a long but of course like I said it's fun so I'm never gonna regret I'm never gonna regret doing it okay guys so what I'm gonna do is I've gotten all the media right let's see how much we've gotten total at this moment or where is it at Oh, 276. That's a lot. But guys, I'm going to collect all the meteorite that's under the sand and stuff, and I'll see you guys with the next exciting thing. Whoa, guys, more meteorite. Why are there two meteorite falls in one plate? I don't even know. But I'm not going to make you guys sit through this one, so yeah. I'll mine this all, I'll mine this all out, and then we'll get to the next thing. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Well guys, this is going to be the end of the episode. So I did a lot of exploring. I know I didn't get it all on camera. But we did get a lot of progress done today. We got a couple new things that were very necessary to continue. So this is all the loot I got. I got some very important things you might notice like um, almost 600 meteorite which will be used soonly. I got a couple cool things like the goodie bags. I got a harpoon which is interesting. Um, a couple more statues that outside, a lot of potions, uh, Hermes boots, I, well I got a new pair that are right here that, which are better than these, these were the old pair that I was wearing, and I got a couple new banners to hang up, but we're doing that in the next episode, we're already at like 18 or 19 minutes, so I think I'll save that for next episode, for now we'll just leave it as, we'll leave it as it is, so guys this has been Aqua Gear. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment as a sportsman channel, and I'll talk to you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.